Focus VBS. Can you believe it, Mikey and Lenar? Yeah, we've had so much fun here this week. Yeah, I've loved being here with you guys. Yeah. You know what? That's the greatest commandment, to love one another. You know what I love? I love pizza and you guys. Aww. Aww. I love pizza too and being with you guys at home. Yeah. Ah, you know what I love? I love love songs. Oh, yeah, love songs are great. We should definitely sing one. Um, yeah. guys, maybe next time. Can you feel the love tonight? Oh, that's a great one. How about this one? This is a love song. I can show you the world in shining, shimmering splendor. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a good one. But you want know, to you know, see a better one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I, I will always love you. Make it stop! And I will always love you. <laughs> Here I come! Hey guys, it's me, Kyle. I didn't know if you'd recognize me without the lights on and with the flashlight, but today we are playing flashlight tag in the lab, which means I might have to- Kyle! Oh, uh, be right back. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Hi guys, have any of you seen Kyle? I'm trying to catch him. You're never gonna catch me! <gasps> I heard you! I heard you! <laughs> Oh, wrong way. Oh. Oh, no. Kyle! Kyle! <laughs> Thanks for that. Man, it is crazy back there. Everything is so dark. You can't see anything. It's like it's like a maze in the lab. Uh, you're, you're tripping over things. You're running. Oh! 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 I'm fine. I better, uh, yeah, I better go check on her. Shh. <sighs> okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, where was I? I was uh, talking about lights, flashlight tag. What else? Um, Got oh! you! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, Wilson, Wilson just got me. <laughs> I'm the king. <laughs> okay, uh, king. Hey, do you, do you mind uh, putting the spotlight on me real quick? Okay, yeah. Perfect. Light illuminates everything that we see and even some things that we can. So today on A Closer Look, we're talking about just that. Stay tuned. <laughs> Samantha? Samantha? When we think about light, we usually think about lamps or the sun, but there's so many different ways to use light, like... Uh, 
spoilers, please. Kyle, I am your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Light isn't just something out of bulbs or from the sun. Light is also lasers. Oh. But what good do lasers even do? Well, they look cool. But looking cool isn't a reason to be talking about it on this show. I mean, this is science that we're dealing with here, people. What's the practical application? First, uh, the fact that you care about the content of this show means the world to me, so thank you. And second, lasers can be used in so many different ways. It can help uh, shape people's eyes so they can see better. Oh, like a uh, LASIK. Yeah, you know, my dad had that done before we couldn't even read a stop sign, but now we can read the newspaper over my mom's shoulder when they're in separate rooms. Wow, exactly. <laughs> and there's also LIDAR. Ooh! What's that? Well, it's basically a radar that uses lasers. So we use light to scan entire areas to take an incredibly detailed photograph that we normally couldn't see with the naked eye. Uh, check it out. <gasps> Look, an entire ancient city covered by trees for hundreds of years, and we discovered it using LIDAR. See, the city couldn't be seen because the trees had covered it up, but we found it with light using LIDAR. <laughs> Plus, they sound super cool. Yeah, they do. <laughs> also, because high-powered lasers are accurate over long distances, we can measure things like elevation very, very... Houston, we have a problem. Very accurately. <laughs> But that's some of the small picture stuff about light. But what about the big picture stuff, like about supporting life on our planet? Well, we're gonna talk about all of that right after this. I will, yeah, yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to F -f 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 Focus Station. Focus. I am your DJ Caleb, and this is my co-host, DJ Cam, the man. And welcome back to the greatest DJ show this side of the United States of America. Yes, we are so great. We've got some amazing songs for you guys. Wait, you guys hear that? That sounds like a dance break. All right, kids, get up on your feet. Let's see your dance feet. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, you're, you're pretty good at dancing. Yeah, I, I know. But you know what you're great at? What? Freestyle rapping. No, Do you want to see him freestyle rap? Uh, I'm not good at freestyle rapping. All right, here we no, go I anyways. Promise. I promise. Oh. Yeah. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible, it tells me so. I read the Bible every day. I read the Bible before I pray, and then I pray really long, and it sounds like this is a song, and we sing, let it go, like frozen, let it snow, I'm afraid of rabbits, and I like green toes. What in the world? Why are we even doing this DJ stuff if we can literally go into the rap game? I don't know, but that was pretty great. Anyways, guys, let's move on to our final set of praise and worship. But before we do, I think it's time we pray. Yeah. Let's say a quick prayer together. Everybody bow your heads and let's pray. Dear Jesus, we just thank you for your love, God. Lord, you say, you say in your word that your greatest commandment is that we love each other and that we love you, God. And it's because you show us the greatest example of love, God. You are the greatest example of love. God, the fact that you would send your son to die on the cross for us shows that you're willing to give up anything for us. And we are totally undeserving of what you do for us and how much you love us. And yet you do it anyways, God. Lord, we just lift high your name, God. We praise you and we want to tell you that we love you, God. Lord, we just praise your name, God. You are so worthy to be praised. We just give you this time right now. We just worship you. And we're going to get our minds and our hearts focused in on you. 
and we're going to learn to love each other more, and we're going to learn to love you more. We just thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. So, What's our playlist like for this final? Our episode? playlist for today. I'm so glad you asked. I hear this first song is wonderful. <laughs> no, seriously, that's, that's the name of the song. Oh. It's wonderful. Wonderful. And then followed by Only Focus, oh, the song that they actually wrote for our DJ station. I mean, man, that's probably not true, but I just said it. Anyways, let's get into our final worship set. We've been your DJs. Thank you so much for tuning into our station this so week. So if you're not on your feet, go ahead and get on your feet right now. It's time to worship. Let's get started. That's right. This is my 
focus all of my days I know where my hope is I live it life I shot the chorus because I know oh you're always for us and even when it's hard for me to see to see I will trust in you I will believe believe and even when it's hard for me to see to see I will trust in you I will believe and keep on I keep on looking, keep on looking, looking to you. I fix my, I fix eyes. my eyes on you. Sad Becca, just you can be happy knowing that we've had a blast all this week. I guess that's right. So let's have a great time with them before we have to leave. That's right. So today's game is called Zoomed In, and here's how it works. <laughs> you're going to have to have an image that's super zoomed in, and you're not going to know what it is. And it's going to gradually zoom out, and you're going to have to guess what it is before it's completely zoomed out, all right? It sounds kind of tricky. But hey, it's our last day of VBS, so we thought we'd make our last game the best one yet. So, are you ready to play Zoomed In? Has anyone guessed what this image is yet? It's an umbrella. Did you get it? I wonder what this one is. It looks really yummy. It's cereal. Great job, guys. This one looks really hard. It's the Minions! Has anyone got this one yet? It's soccer! Awesome job, you guys! Let's see who can get this one. It's a flower. Awesome job. This one's really hard. It looks like a toy of some sort. It's Batman and Superman. Good job, guys. 
Hmm, this one looks really fluffy. Oh, it's a teddy bear. Hmm, this one looks interesting. Can you get it? It looks like it's in the air. It's a kite. Awesome job, guys. Has anyone got this one yet? It's a tricycle. Awesome sauce. This one's really hard. See if you can guess it. It's an iPhone. Here we go, we're almost done now. Keep your focus. I think I might know what this one is. It's crayons. Good job, guys. Hmm, this one looks pretty difficult. See if you can get it. Oh, it's a cute puppy. Great job, guys. Great job, kids. We're so glad that you've been with us this week. We've had a blast. That's right, we've had loads of fun and we hope you have too. So remember to keep focusing and paying attention to all you're gonna learn today. All right, now I'm hungry, so I'm going to get a snack. Welcome back to VBS Snack Time. I'm Hannah. I'm Rachel. And today we'll be making heart-shaped Rice Krispie treats. I love Rice Krispie treats, especially the homemade kind, because our grandma used to make them for us. She would put M&Ms in it, and peanut butter, and chocolate chips, and gummy worms, and graham crackers, and gummy bears. Yeah, okay, and enough about that. <laughs> for today's snack, the only ingredient that you'll need are Rice Krispie treats. Homemade or store-bought is fine. If you don't have this, some other things that you could have for snack include uh, chips, cookies, fruit, pudding, cereal, whatever you have in the house. Just pick something tasty. In order to make this treat, all you have to do is take your Rice Krispie treat and put it into the shape of a heart so that it looks something like this. That's pretty. When you're ready to make it, hit pause on this video, make your treat, and then have somebody take a picture of you with it to send to your pastor or to upload on Facebook. We want to see that picture. We do. And don't forget to drink the water. <laughs> That's right, have a nice cup of water with your Rice Krispie Treat. When you've got it all together, hit play, and we'll learn how to live for God by loving others. That is the greatest commandment. Hmm, well hello there. Who are you looking at? You looking at me? Huh? You looking at me? Are we rolling? Oh, <clears throat> hello, I'm Kellen and we've been having a lot of fun taking a closer look at the world around us. So I have a mirror here, but it's not just any mirror. It's a two-way mirror. The way it works is that one person can see through it from the side where it's darker, and the person on the other side sees a reflection of themselves when the light is on them. So here's me, but when I stand behind it and change the lighting, can you see me now? Cool, right? I'm seeing a reflection of myself, but if we change the lights again, I see you. Cool, right? All right, well, we'll come back to that later. So our story today actually comes from two different books of the Bible. Now, they're both pretty famous passages. The first is from the book of Matthew, where the Pharisees are asking a question of Jesus. First, let me explain who the Pharisees were. They were a group of religious leaders who tried to honor God by following a bunch of religious rules. 
The problem was, they focused so much on following the rules that they didn't love God or other people very well. They also didn't like how Jesus claimed to be the Son of God, and they didn't like how everyone seemed to be following after him. When one of the Pharisees asked his question, he was really trying to put Jesus to the test and see if Jesus might say something that would get him in trouble. So he asked Jesus this question, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Now the law he was referring to was the law in the Old Testament that had lots of rules. Lots of rules for all kinds of things like what kind of work you could do on certain days of the week or making sure you covered your water wells or to not eat owls. Seriously, it's in there, check it out. So Jesus answers them and says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Everything that is written in the law and the prophets is based on these two commandments. Jesus basically sums up the law with those four verses. There are more than 600 rules in the Old Testament. And Jesus says here what you need to do. Love God, love people. That's it. Crazy, right? But how do we love someone? I mean, what is love? The Apostle Paul had some things to say about love in the book of 1 Corinthians. Paul said, love is patient, love is kind. Love does not dishonor others. He also says that love does not look out for its own interests. Love is full of joy. It always protects, it never gives up, love never fails. Now, that's a lot of beautiful words about love, but what does it look like in our everyday life? What does it look like for love to be patient? Okay, what if your little brother or sister has destroyed the Lego tower you built for the third or fourth time? Showing them love might mean that you're patient and that you don't get angry at them. What does it look like for love to be kind? Well, maybe there's a new kid at school or at camp, and maybe they don't look or sound like you or any of your friends. It may not be easy, but to show that person love means to show kindness. Invite them to sit with you at lunch or play with you at recess, even if your other friends don't want to. What does it look like for love to never fail? That's a big one, right? To say that love never fails? Well, I don't think Paul was saying that love is always easy. It's not. And sometimes we might feel that love has failed when you try to show someone kindness or patience and they make fun of you or they ignore you. But I think maybe Paul is saying that we can't give up. And if we continue to show people love, it will change them and change us, even if we can't see it immediately. I think it's also good to remember that God is described as love and what God did by sending us his son Jesus will never fail. Even when we mess up, God still loves us and we can show that same love to others. Here, let me show you something. So we're back at this two-way mirror. Remember that it works because of light. When you light up one side of the mirror and lower the light on the other side, the person that has the light shining on them is able to be seen. So when I shine the light on myself, I can look in the mirror and see myself. Hey, Kellen. But when we turn the light down on ourselves and we turn the light up on the other side of the mirror, we turn the light on others. We turn the focus on other people and we can see who they are and what they need. When we take a closer look at others, we're able to see them as God sees them and live for God by loving them. Pretty incredible, right? So as you go home and as you meet new friends in the next few weeks, remember that you can live for God by showing others God's love. And keep a lookout because there are so many things to learn about God when you take a closer look. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I cannot believe that this is our last day together for Focus VBS. I've had so much fun making crafts with you guys this week. And today we're gonna to be making something called a floating ball challenge. Now, some of you got grab bags from your church that have all the supplies that you're gonna to need to make this project. 
But if you didn't, no worries. You should have a lot of this stuff laying around your house or it's really easy to grab all of these things at the dollar store. So, these are the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need like a really small bowl, maybe a, a medium sized or a small plastic cup. You can use the duct tape that we've been using, but for this project, you can use like some scotch tape. You're gonna need not a straight straw, but a bendy straw for this one. You're gonna need some scissors. You're gonna need some a marker and you're going to need some paper. Now, here's what I'd like for you to do. Pause the video, go get your craft grab bags or grab these items and come right back here and join. Awesome! Now remember, the directions for making this project are in your craft grab bags or you can download them from the website. Also remember to ask for help if you need it this project isn't too terribly difficult. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to take your cup, or if you want a bigger size, you can take your bowl, and then you're going to take your piece of paper, and you're going to put your cup on your paper, and you're going to take your marker, and you're going to trace the outline of, of the top part of your cup. Then what I need you to do is make a dot right in the center of your circle. Then take your scissors, cut your circle out, and once you cut your circle out, cut a line right up to the dot. Then what you're going to do is take this paper, and you're going to make a little mini funnel, and you can tape it together with your tape. Then here comes the part that might be a little bit tricky. What you're going to need to do is at the very tip, of the funnel, you're going to need to cut off a little piece of the tip, but don't make too big of a cut. You're going to stick your bendy straw into that, and then you're going to make sure you take really good all around the outside edges so no air can get in there. And once you finish, finished, this is what your project will look like. If you use a bigger bowl, it, your, your funnel will, shape will be larger. But if you use the smaller cup, this is what your funnel shape is going to look like. It almost kind of looks like a pipe. And then what I found was the tiny balled up, as I said before, piece of aluminum foil seems to work the best. Now, remember, get your parents or somebody to take a picture of you with your project and send it to your pastor so he can put it on your church Facebook page because we want to see all your awesome projects. Now this is what mine looks like and this is what the project does. If I can have it, I'm going to do it. That's our floating ball challenge. Now sometimes life can be full of ups and downs just like that floating ball. But when you keep your focus on Jesus, you can get through absolutely anything. This week, we've learned so much at that Focus Vacation Bible School. I think today's focus is a pretty great one. It says loving others is important because we all need to be loved. Let's say today's bottom line together. You can live for Jesus by loving others. I have had such a wonderful time working with you guys on your crafts this week for VBS. I hope you've had a great time and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the summer. Do you ever wonder how we got this amazing world around us? It's all because of four little words. Let there be. Oh, I know this one. Oh, light. <laughs> Light is the main source for life on our planet. Light is the sole source for food creation on our planet. For instance, we need light to grow our fruits and our vegetables. But have you ever wondered why? It's all because of a little process known as photosynthesis. Here's how it works. The sun shines on us, and the plants use that energy to turn carbon dioxide, which we cannot breathe, into oxygen. And oxygen is what we breathe. So next time you take a deep breath, think a plant. Because plants 
are pretty important. Thanks, plants. We need light to see, yes, but light comes in a spectrum that makes our world beautiful. For instance, if we didn't have this various spectra of light, our world might look like. I don't like it. Oh man, I got Neapolitan. How am I gonna know which one's the chocolate? But because we do have different kinds of light, our world looks like. Hmm, I figured it out. <laughs> From clean solar energy to maintaining the Earth's temperature to letting us know when to go to sleep at night, light plays a huge role in our everyday life. Everything we do here at A Closer Look requires light. After all, we need light to take a closer look. Oh. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Did you uh, leave in any ice cream for me? Ah, uh, we left you a little strawberry. <laughs> a plant that gets the right amount of sunlight will thrive and grow. <laughs> I am so full of sun energy, I could not be more psyched. <laughs> but if the plant doesn't get the right amount of light, what? People can be the same way. Sometimes when a light isn't shining on someone, we can't see the details of them in their life. That's why we gotta do everything we can to light others up, shining a light on others and showing them love. Well, uh, hey, Wilson, can, can you fix that spotlight, please? Got it. When I shine a light on Samantha, I can see how enthusiastic she is. And I can also see that she likes it when others are just as enthusiastic as her. <laughs> I know that she gets excited about even my craziest idea. <laughs> Way to bring the fun, Samantha! Oh, hey, thanks, Kyle! <laughs> and when I shine a light on Wilson, I can see how smart he is and how he makes all of us smarter. It's true and I won't let his grumpiness get in the way of telling me so. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing to shine a light on your friends? How are you seeing them better? Well, guys, that's it for this week. Thank you for joining us and for taking a, a closer, closer look. look. <laughs> oh, I wanna, I wanna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, High five again, ready? High five! You're doing it! Charlie! I did not secure that, guys. I am so sorry. Thank you for joining us on BBS Focus. We've had a great week. Day one, we learned that when we focus on what we can see, we can see God's creation around us. Day two, we learned that we can hear from God by reading His Word, reading the Bible. Day three, we learned that we can talk to others about what we believe. Day four, we learn that we can pray about any time, anywhere, about anything, which is an awesome thing for us to do, which brings us to today. We can live for Him by loving others, which is the greatest commandment. Love one another. And that's what we learn today. Now, you may be having a hard time because it's hard sometimes dealing with a little brother that aggravates or listening to a sister who talks too much, or even thinking that your mom and dad have been a little hard on you, which sometimes they can be, but we're still supposed to forgive them and we're still supposed to love them because it is God's greatest commandment. And you can pray about that right now with me. If you've never asked Jesus Christ to come into your heart, I also want you to pray with me. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for coming into my heart. Thank you for dying on a cross for us. Thank you for staying in that grave three days and being raised from the grave 
and going to heaven and setting up a place for me that when I die, I'll go there because I believe in you. Lord, I ask you right now to help us be good and love our brothers and sisters and love our friends and love our moms and dads in incredible ways. God, we praise you for all of this. In Jesus' name I pray. Everybody said amen. Thank you again for joining us on VBS Focus. Remember, when you focus, it means you're a part of something bigger than yourself. Amen.